So the 81 plus player pick is back. We just seem to be going through the cycle of 80 plus and then 81. Obviously, I'll always rate the 81 better. And to be honest, in terms of the grind, it's never been easier. So let's follow the method and figure out how to get as many of these done as quickly as possible for literally no cost at all. So the very first one I always like to start off with, please give me a banger. Or just give me a 1A to A3. So to start with, we have got loads of SBCs that you can grind through just naturally from these. From the 82 times 20, we've obviously got an 85 player pick. We have team of the year packs. We have icon packs. We have ultimate crafting packs. There's daily logins. There's a lot to go with at the moment. And I'm going to show you the best order to get everything done. First and foremost, you want to get your daily login done. That is the easiest one to get done. It is one bronze and it gets yourself maybe some packs, uh, maybe, well, what, one pack back, but a couple of players in the club. So today, if you are following it, it should be day six, I believe. And I don't even know what we actually get back from that now. We get, oh, it's lost. Also, just as a side note, if you've not seen already, the daily play is actually been uh, kind of back now. And we also have got an extra few days on it. So we should be able to get that done nice and easily. So number six is going to give me an 83 times two. I would say when it comes to the 81 picks, you could argue to put in 82s and lower, maybe some 83 duplicates if you do get them. Obviously, in terms of this, it's all about the grind to get as many players and picks done as human, humanly possible. We get Sims in this, which is always going to be a duplicate in form. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. And to be honest, that's the perfect method because with this 85, we could just put him into the exchange if we really wanted to. There isn't necessarily an SBC I want to put him in. And to be honest, with him being untradeable, he is better off in the exchange than just being discarded. So that's always a great method whenever it comes to getting more cards into your club. And if you are opening it up numerous amount of picks, it's going to be a great way to just make sure you are utilizing as much fodder as possible. So we do have the 83 times 2 as well. It's going to get me nothing. You thought you'd, you'd give a hit and hope. You never know sometimes. And that's more than likely going to give me a duplicate as well. So when it comes to these 81 player picks, where is the way to get them unlimited? Because that's what everybody says. And the exchange is going to be part of that, to be honest. Whether it's the 85s or potentially the 89s, it depends on what sort of fodder you're looking at. So, for instance, with this, we managed to get three duplicates here. They're going to be perfect because, as you probably guessed it by now, all of these will go into the 81 pick. So, you've got two options to start with because, or technically three, I suppose. You have got the ultimate crafting birth, well, I said that completely wrong. The ultimate birthday crafting upgrade. I've still got 103 to go. I would more than likely sack off doing the 81 player picks to get that done first because the amount of packs and stuff you get back, I would say that's worth it. Then you've obviously got the 80 triple. Again, I do think that is a worthwhile SBC. It is one if you're not a big fan of player picks, that is kind of my second to go with. So obviously when it comes to this, you don't really need to do the league SBC anymore. They've kind of given us a method where it becomes very difficult to do all of it because even though you could mix this with the league SBC, with the exchange, with everything, and it it would work. It definitely would work. I don't think at the moment the uh, premium league upgrade is really that worth it anymore because you're just spending a lot more time for making sure tradable value goes up and making sure that you've kind of utilized everything in your club first. At the minute, I would say the best way to grind this out, daily bronze and silver's done, daily gold's done because that's going to give you 44 cards, obviously 4 rare, 40 common. That's already going to put you in a very good point with the 81 player picks. Let alone that, if you've already got stuff in your club, that's going to be perfect as well and that is always where we kind of start with this because fodder from squad battles, rivals, Foot champs, everything is going to be utilized in this to get as much cards as possible. So I would start off by using your club as much as you can, because realistically, you should be able to make a decent amount anyway to start with. Then what you could do is potentially, depending on your coin value, 
it would all depend on what you can kind of put in, what you can get out sort of thing. Of course, he's not going to be tradable. Why would he be? So what I would then do is potentially looking at the 81 player picks you've got. If you've managed to get any bit of fodder, then I'd utilize it back in the exchange. So a lot of people, what they've been saying is just putting in your 89s into the, the duplicate. I would say it's not a bad method because... What you kind of do in there is if you look at the kind of packs that you get back, if obviously you do the 89, for instance, you get 51 players back. If you was to do the divide, I was going to say, I don't even know what it would be. If you do 51 divided by eight, you obviously get six picks back in them six, pa uh, six picks. If you could get somebody of a rate in here, it's almost just a constant cycle round. And with picks in general, especially, they tend to have a pretty good drop weight. So what a lot of people are doing are just going into your golds, for instance, and just thinking, okay, well, I can put Casemiro in, I can put Rodri in, there's 12 picks already. We put Diani in and Testegen, there's like 20 something picks. The likely chance of you getting at least some fodder back is very high. It, it just is what it is. If you've not got any golds in your club, for instance, if we was to look at someone, I'm just thinking like Hergerberg, you, you're looking at about 20k, I believe. They might have gone up a little bit. Now. Well, they've gone down, in fact. So you're looking at 25k. I was trying to snipe her off there. But if you're looking at, like, say, 26k, give or take, that's really not that bad for the players. So if you was doing, what would it be, 26,000 divided by... What would it be? It'd be about, say we say 400, give or take. You're looking at 65 players. So realistically, you are probably missing out on, say, 10 to 12 players you could go buy off the market, but then potentially SBC, uh, well, market banned in terms of you have a cooldown or something. You can just go buy a player. You can just go and snipe. Like we saw there, there was one that did pop up. You could just quickly snipe one. How much was that? 25 and a half. You make it a little bit cheaper. Whether you can get her or not is the big question. And I don't even know if she's the cheapest as well. That is literally just 189. I know is quite cheap. When it comes to footbin... What is the cheapest, in fact? That's what I kind of want to know. So if you look at the cheapest by rating, an 89, because that's going to give us the best pack, 23.5k for Soloff. So really, that is pretty much pinpoint. You could buy Soloff, put him into this, have a chance of a pack as well, because this obviously does have high-rated players in as well. Sometimes you could then obviously put all of that into player picks. Anything you get back, you just keep going around the exchange. Maybe, yes, every... 20, 50 picks, you might not necessarily get the greatest players back. But I would say on a, a kind of a, an average basis, picks tend to be quite broken when it comes to what they give out. So I would suggest that is kind of my best way. Obviously, then you can do the 82 times 20. You could do an 85 pick because realistically, what, you're getting 84s in that. You should be able to grind out quite a, lady, a lot of 84s because if you are just constantly doing them 89s, you should get a decent amount back. If then you get a Lavelli, any of the uh, the ultimate birthdays that you don't want, just whack them back in the exchange. It is just a constant cycle of going round. So for instance, just to show you a demonstration of it, say I think Rodri I've got already in the transfer market. So I can put him in and get him back in the club. If it was to do that, we've given up an 89, realistically valued of 23 and a half. As many untradables as possible, that's going to always be the better way of doing it if I was kind of really putting anything on it. Then if we open up the pack, 51 players, 37 common. We might not get anything back from the pack itself. Sometimes you can. We're going to get a Bruno Fernandes. No doubler, no doubler, but that's an 88 already. If I didn't really want to, I could go and put him back in the 88 exchange. And then we've got another pack straight off the bat, just putting 189 in. Managed to get an inform, which is always good. Then a lot of fodder that obviously will go into the upgrade. So all of this goes into the upgrade. You can obviously go ahead and if you've got any tradable stuff. So when I click swap, you can go ahead and sell it off if you really wanted to. Um, again, that's going to be down to your preference on what coins you've got. And then all you do is just spin these around. So you've got to make sure that they are new because then obviously I can go through them a lot quicker. So what I can do from here is we just spin them all. And once that's done, it makes life a lot easier. So when I go into the SBCs, obviously if you've already put in all of your golds into picks already, which is what we kind of already would have done, you'd then be able to know what you've kind of got left. So then all I do is go into that, search, obviously go for the new here. 
we would then go and pick one rare if we kind of wanted to and kind of do it that way to start with, depending on how many rares you've got in, and you just start putting everybody in. Once you've done that, you then do your, say, six picks. We've already got another 88 to whack in, so if we go ahead and whack him in, we then be able to put more players back through. We can then have a, a, chi well, a cheeky look and see what we've got here to see what else we could put in, and you just keep re-rinsing the cycle. So with that 51 pack, we obviously got Bruno. I'm not saying that you get a player every time but already we can get 27 players back meaning we can go put bruno in and then obviously go ahead and get some more picks it is just about constantly going around because obviously we're looking for the big players we're looking for an icon we're looking for the top ultimate birthdays if we can that is the kind of main goal that this is all about and i think that way is going to give you the best chance obviously finishing the 82 times 20 the triple upgrades the 85 pick is going to be another way that you can do that as well but this is just going to be a very easy way and to be honest if you like picks it's going to be the best way for you to kind of just do picks constantly there is no real well there's not really too much of a cost especially if you do get lucky and you can just keep going round and round and round